MSNBC meteorologist Bill Carrens doesn't usually get involved in political coverage, but he was called on to fact-check President Donald Trump's ongoing lies about Hurricane Dorian potentially striking Alabama. The president inaccurately claimed Sunday that the strengthening hurricane would most likely hit Alabama much harder than anticipated, and he has made a series of dubious claims, and apparently doctored a map with a Sharpie marker to support his faulty warning. Advertisement, let me take you into this map. Karen said, so September 1st, 8 a.m. In the morning, is when he tweeted and added Alabama to the states that are increasing in risk. That's when this whole thing started, when that tweet came out this was the forecast with not Alabama in it. This was the official forecast that should have been in a little document. Trump tweeted out another projection map which showed a bundle of possible paths the storm might take which did show Alabama among the states Dorian might hit, but Karen said that information was badly out of date on Wednesday when the president shared it on social media. He said this was the forecast map that made him say Alabama was in the path, and these are all the computer models, the spaghetti, they even go into Louisiana and Mississippi, Karen said. Looks horrible, right? Then I looked closer down here in the data that was August 28th, four days before he sent the tweet. So then I said why would he send a map out four days in advance? See, this is science, we actually do have the data, he added. Isn't that amazing? Advertisement Karens showed how the maps clarified the projections as the storm moved closer to hitting the US, and Alabama didn't show up on those maps as a potential target. We could actually fact check this, he said. Hours before tweet these were what the lines looked like, none into Alabama. 24 hours before, none of the lines go into Alabama. Let's go 48 hours before, almost into Alabama. How about 72 hours before the tweet? Now we've got something, a couple go there, but that's not good enough. Let's make it look better and do 96 hours, on the 28th. This is the map he sent out, Karen said the president had either told a series of obvious lies to cover up an avoidable mistake, or he had neglected his job duties for days. Advertisement, here is your choice, Karen said. We can either believe the whole kindergarten, changing the number 62 to an 82 trick, or maybe he actually did go for straight days without being briefed, or looking at the updates on the hurricane, and he did believe that what he saw, which one is worse, he added. Advertisement enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E. K. Johnston's DCR Eport, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. 
make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E.K. Johnston's DCR report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's blog ads. Why?